Hiya, this is question 2 on the GCSE paper 1 in June 2012. Now this question shows a patio in the shape of a rectangle. Now the patio is 3.6 metres long and 3 metres wide and Matt is going to try and cover the patio with paving slabs and you've been given information that a patio slab is actually a square of side 60 centimetres. Um, and what Matthew is doing is buying 32 of these paving slabs and you have to work out whether 32 is enough to fit um, the patio, is enough material to fit the patio. Now this question comes quite early on in the paper. Now, there's a lot of information here but the maths involved is pretty, it's not too difficult. Okay. So let's begin. I've got units of measurement in metres for the patio and centimetres for the slab. So what I'll do, I'll change them all so they're the same. That's the first thing I will do. Now 3.6 metres, I've done this already, is actually 360 centimetres. Because there are 100 centimetres in a metre, 3.6 times 100 gives you 360. Likewise with 3 metres. 100 centimetres in a metre, so 3 metres would be 300 centimetres. Now after all, a very quick sketch of um, what a paving slab would look like is a square. And each side is 60 centimetres, so this length is 60, this is 60, etc. Okay, now there's two ways of kind of approaching this question. The first way is practically looking at it and seeing where they all fit. And the second way is actually working out the area and then doing some division to see where they all fit. Because it's come up quite early on in the paper, I'd recommend the first option. It will be a lot quicker and you'll still get full marks. So we'll go for the first option now. Now 60 centimetres, this is a paving slab, and 60 centimetres fits into 360 six times. Because 6 times 60 centimetres is 360. So these paving slabs will fit along the length 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. And as the uh, diagram isn't accurately drawn, nor is my um, slab, so um, don't worry if it doesn't actually fit, but that's what we're looking at. The 60 centimetres fits into 366 times, so there's six of these paving slabs across the length. Now 60 fits into 300 centimetres five times, because five times 60 is 300 centimetres. So you can fit one, two, three, four, five along the width of the patio. So that means you can fit six along here and five along here. So you're going to have six rows of five. So six here, number six, number six, number six, number six. What that means is you're going to fit in exactly um, five times six, so 30 slabs in total. So 32 slabs will be more than enough. So this is what I've just said in written format. So in 360 centimeters, I can fit six slabs. In 300 centimetres I can fit 5, so all together I can fit in 30 slabs in that area. So 32 is enough. Okay, So that's the first method or first way of kind of looking at it. And I would recommend that way is the easiest one. Now the second way is actually working on the area for this rectangle and then dividing by the area of the pad, uh, paving slab and seeing whether it's less than 32. This is something I've done before. So the area of the patio would be 360 centimetres times by 300, it's just a rectangle. And that is quite easy, 108,000, it's quite a lot, 108,000 centimetres squared, it's quite a large number. The way I've done it is 36 times 3 is 108, 36, add 36, 72, add, a, um, add another 36 gives you 108. Um, and then I've multiplied this by 10 and this by 100, so altogether I've got to multiply it by 1,000, that's why it becomes 108,000. Or you could look at it this way, 36 times 3 is 108. Uh, there's 1, 2, 3 zeros, so I need to multiply it by um, 1,000, which is 1, 2, 3, add the 3 zeros in. So that's the area for the patio. This is the area for the paving slabs, just one paving slab, 60 times 60. And again, the same way I've done it, 6 times 6 is 36. Multiply this by 10, multiply this by 10, all together by 100. So I need to multiply 36 by 100, and this is the answer I get. Okay, I'll kind of rush through that, but you need to know these kind of skills. 
look for any websites or any health self help guide to um, support you if you need some extra help on that. What we'll do is actually work out 108,000 divided by 30, um, 3600. Now, when we divide in, and if you've got, let me just get a bread colour pen, we've got um, 108,000 divided by 3600. Okay, so what we need to do now is divide 108,000 by 3,600. Now immediately when you put in the division sign, you can get rid of this and this, because then divided by 10 just gives you one, and this and this. So these two you can get rid of. So essentially what it leaves us with is 1,080, which is here, and 36, which is there. Now I need to divide that and the best way for doing division in a non-calculator paper is the bus stop method. What you're dividing into goes inside the bus stop, what you're dividing by goes outside. Now what we do then is how many 36's fit into one? None of them. Okay, So we carry it over to the next two numbers, next number. How many 36 fit into 10? Again none. Then you go to the next number. 108. How many 36s fit into 108? And if you go into 36 times stable, 36, 72, 108, three of them fit in there. Okay? And then how many 36 and 0? Well, none of them. And there's nothing left over. So that's your final answer. So 30, 30 paving slabs have fit into there. And I've worked it out using two methods. And then the final part you just need to mention is then 32 is enough.